it is Wednesday, the 19th of June. So happy Juneteenth, uh, if you're unaware. It's the day that we in the States celebrate the abolition of slavery. So, few reasons to celebrate as significant as that. Anyways, uh, obviously still in Florida. Uh, we are just outside of Grandma's house. It is pleasantly warm, actually. It's not like too hot. It's a little windy. It's a little humid. It's honestly, as far as like, not beach weather goes, but just like relaxing weather, it's almost ideal, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Like it's really, really pleasant outside. And I just realized, are we matching, kinda? Yeah. Kinda. I mean, I have Krillin and Napa on my shirt, but you I have- I have Salt Life. Salt Life, I mean, Krillin's salty. It can't be that bald and not be a little salty. Anyways, <laughs> um, it's, I'm, I'm drinking coffee, but that probably doesn't tell you what time of day it is. Usually, considering who I am, but uh, we did just get up not too long ago. We got up at like 10.30, and, uh, and we have kind of a an easy day planned. I wasn't certain what this first day would bring, but it looks like it's going to be kind of a kind of chill, relaxing sort of start to the vacation, which is not a bad thing, especially after, you know, a long and arduous and stressful travel day yesterday. Uh, just going to hang out with Grandma, and I guess we'll see what, what else we possibly can get into beyond that. Maybe something, we'll see. So we don't have a gym anymore. I mean, we do have a gym, but like we don't have a gym membership out here. So we did some body weight stuff and it actually worked out pretty well. Uh, Serena and I worked together to figure out what made the most sense, you know, using the equipment that we had, AKA <laughs> like chairs and umbrella stands and the floor. And it worked out pretty well. So each other's bodies yeah we even lifted each other a few times so that'll probably be what we have to do because it's not like we're out here trying to to build muscle or get in shape or anything we're really just trying to maintain and stay in shape because the worst thing at least in my opinion is when you go on vacation and you eat a bunch of good delicious but bad food for you and you're kind of sedentary and then you come back and you're horribly out of shape and i don't know it's one thing to enjoy the vacation and you should don't take this as me like preaching that you shouldn't but it's one thing to do that and another entirely to do it within reason yeah which is also why we're taking a walk right now and it's pleasant outside isn't it Very nice. we were just talking about how you can smell the humidity um and since we moved away from florida coming back it's like nostalgic in a way i miss it i miss it i mean it's not quite home because it, it's missing the people but i don't know there are lots of it that i miss and look at this has a fun 140 HP. Amazing. Better take some potions into the fight with that thing. You got the full Florida experience here. The sun came back out and naturally we had to do the pool. Um, just because why the heck not? I feel like it's almost not a sin, but it's a requirement. If you're going to be in a tropical location, you have to get inside your swimsuit at least once per day. We've met that quota today. So, uh, well, Time to go inside because it's hot. <laughs> uh, Serena is back there eyeballing lizards because that's another thing that I forgot there were so many of here. There's just so much life in tropical areas, right? So much green, so much plant life, but then also so much, so much wildlife, which is fun. I enjoy that. I enjoy that a lot. Uh, we actually wrapped up the day by doing the most exciting activity of all, the most Floridian activity of all, laundry. Obviously, I'm joking, but it was nice to uh, to be here at Serena's grandma's house because that's, you know, the sort of luxury we're afforded. You can't always do laundry at hotels or Airbnbs, but we're able to wash our clothes and stuff here. So nice to kind of get a reset on the suitcase. We did pack well enough for the full trip, but I don't know. It's just nicer to have more clean clothes, more clean underwear, more clean socks, and not have to transport a bunch of nasty garments. So there you have it. Anyways... Uh, I think that's really it. A solid, a solid first day. Uh, very tired, still as you might imagine, uh, given the travel day as well as the. I don't know. We've strung together like three or four straight nights of like five or six hours of sleep, which to some people is plenty, but to people like Serena and myself, it's not. <laughs> so maybe tonight we can get like a full eight, maybe even nine hours. I don't know. So I'm gonna go work on that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed yourself, and I hope that you either did laundry or went to the pool or did something and i hope i see you again tomorrow <laughs>